So way back in the beginning of June of this year, 2014, it's August 12th, by the way, I applied for a driver's license here in New Hampshire and was denied. Uh, I didn't have enough information to prove that I was born in the United States because, you see, my driver's license had expired. So whereas they would have accepted my driver's license on Monday, I came in on Wednesday and they turned me away because on Monday my driver's license would have proved that I was an American citizen but on Wednesday my driver's license no longer proved that I was an American citizen of course it's ridiculous and any bureaucrat or person who's really thinking about it can see that so anyway I was able to get my driver's license and uh, after that I decided I'll buy a car and I'll be able to drive it around so I bought a car on July 2nd, but no, I was not allowed to drive it around. I had to ask permission from the state first. I had to get their plates and put it on that car before it was going to be allowed to drive, or I would face penalties, criminal penalties. I could even go to jail for driving my own property without their permission. So I said, screw them. I hate New Hampshire. The state of New Hampshire cages my friends. They've caged me, and I won't support them. They're a criminal gang. So I decided to register the car in Montana. I waited for my title to come in, sent the title away, tried to register the car in Montana, and boom. The Montana agency goes out of business. That week, just my luck. So here I am returning to City Hall, where I will hopefully be able to get plates for my car and drive it away. It's a little weird that I need permission from a bunch of strangers in this building so that I can drive my own property. I mean, who are they? How did they get authority over me? Well, let's not ask these simple questions. Let's just go and give them money so that they can give me their blessing. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so we'll note that uh, all activities here are being monitored by a video camera. And I'm not sure um, I'm going to record this interaction. I'm not, not sure. Oh, well, there's no one in here, so I won't be getting any private information. All right, and I'll mostly just keep it focused on me. Hello! I'm audio and video recording, but mostly me. Okay. Uh, so okay, wonderful. Thank you. I would like to get New Hampshire plates to put on my new car. And I have some paperwork that I, I was told I had to come here from the DMV uh, because I have um, this paper. Yep. And the yellow one underneath, I think, is also the important reason why I have to come here rather than the DMV. They said that I couldn't get temporary plates, that I have to get regular registration. Yeah, when you have, when you have this type. Ugh. I, it was a big mistake for me to even have that type. I don't even think... Well, it doesn't matter. I'm here to get the plates now, anyway. So we actually don't need this. Oh, okay. It's just that when they... With them knowing it. Okay, I see. Um, so you'll want to hang on to this. Okay, one of the... The state will, show, um, will mail you... A New Hampshire title. Okay. And it takes up to four weeks. So in the meantime, hang on to this. It's your title application, your copy. Of okay, it. I will then. Thank you. So you're coming in. You're new to the state. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I lived here once before, but now I'm moving here again. I live here now. I just got a New Hampshire driver's license. Oh, you did. Okay. That's yep. great. If I can yeah. see that. Certainly. Mm -hmm. And then I know you've already run around a little bit, but um, you have two options for doing this. You can complete it all here okay. and be finished. You have plates and registration. That sounds good. Extra three dollars. Oh, I can, I can handle that. I'll handle the extra three dollars for the uh, convenience, I guess. What would be the alternative? Do you want to do everything we just do the city portion mm -hmm. and then you do the state portion yes. out of motor vehicle. Oh gosh. Three dollars is a small price to pay to avoid being in that DMV line.
thank you for the option. And do you remember how the registrations go by your birthday month? Yes, I do remember that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, before we do this, you, there's an outstanding parking ticket in your name that we need to that you need to take care of before we can register your car. An outstanding parking ticket? Yeah, it's from 2012. In okay. February, and it's the amount seventy five dollars. Okay. Am I allowed to contest that? Um, up at the the parking department is now on the second floor. Okay. Um, so am I no, able to go no, forward? That's who you'd want to talk to. Okay, so am I able to go forward with uh, registering if I just say, hey, I'm going to contest that ticket? No. no. Okay, so what, what? what's my next step then? You would want to go up, either pay it, and if you pay it, we can take it, or you'd go up to the second floor and speak to that. All right, I'll go up to the second floor and say that uh, I'm going to contest that, and then hopefully that'll take that away, and I can come here and finish up this process. Is that I have right? I no idea what will, you know, what will happen, but we would need something from them. They can give us a call or whatever. Okay. Let us know if it's okay to continue or not. Okay, great. Well, I'll ask them. Um, so it used to be that recording was okay up here on the second floor. Is that still the case, do you know? Well, I guess it's the, uh, I think it's, it's still, it's the records department or the, it's what used to be in the police department and they allowed recording there. So I presume it's okay then. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, so you heard what just happened. Apparently I've got some parking ticket from 2012 that uh, the city will not let me have their permission to drive until I pay them $75 for this parking ticket or contest it, maybe. Let's see what happens. So up here we've got these things. Now, it used to be that a person would be uh, arrested for recording up here, but I don't I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm going to stay focused on me and what's happening here uh, at the parking department. Hi there. I'm audio and video recording for my records, but obviously I'm recording mostly me. And uh, I'm here to see if I can contest a parking ticket from 2012. I know it's an odd request, but I just went downstairs to file for car registration, and they told me that uh, I'm not able to do that because there's some hang-up about a parking ticket from 2012. And I said, uh, well, okay, I'm happy to take care of that. Um, can I contest it? And then we can move on with that. Um, so here I'm here to ask you the same question. Well, what's the last name? My last name is Horton, H-O-R-T-O-N. And uh, I love to contest parking tickets, so I'm surprised that I missed it. I wouldn't have missed it intentionally, that's for sure. It says that he gave you a warning, it says here, uh, to ask you to move your car. Okay, so it's not a parking ticket? So did, did you actually move your car? I don't know what the what you're talking about. I just have a note here that he was at that he said that he asked you to move your car. Okay. So my question is, did you so I no longer have the car. I mean, that was years ago. I think it's supposed to be a warning. Um, warning warning given to property owner. What was the date? February 2nd. Oh, that was Fred Parcells, yeah. My car was in the driveway and the nose of the car was jutting out a little bit to the sidewalk and Fred thought it was the right thing to do to um, give me a warning. I think it was actually a ticket. I think that was a ticket, but then it ended up being dropped because it was ridiculous. I mean, it was in my driveway and he was just picking on me. Claiming it was in the sidewalk when like you know, the, the nose of the car was touching the sidewalk. Okay. You're all set, and they'll see you downstairs. Oh, very good. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for your help. Okay, so, had to uh, explain that one away.
And uh, I should leave a link to that video of when Fred gave me that uh, parking ticket. <laughs> so that you can see. Now, apparently this woman should uh, have it reflected, the update here. And I'll have to wait in line because it doesn't look like anyone's ready yet. So you want to email it, right? I'll scan it and email it, and then okay. you'll have to scan and email it back. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to register the car, and I need your signature uh, to sign off on the old stuff because your name is dropped. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can we email you at work a form for you to sign and send back to us so that I can have your name dropped from the um, vehicle because mine is the only one showing on it now. Okay, when can you get it? No, we can email it to you, but when will you be able to access the so, email? So, um, it's nice that using computers, okay. uh, the clerk upstairs okay, is so able to update my file without... Being sent to you? Um, and having to physically it? notify